Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. We have a list of 23 properties. And uh, before we get into that, buyer class this Saturday. We haven't done one in a long time, which means there's probably some pent up demand. We've, uh, has been that long, a couple months, but we usually take the summer off. And September's class is always a really good one. It's huge! <laughs> Uh, we're going to talk about all the steps involved with buying a home, all the costs, how to get up to $10,000 or more of free government money, the three grants that first time buyers can use, how to get access to homes before they hit MLS, how to buy a home with zero down, um, lots of things, real life slides from home inspections. Really good information, the best information we could possibly think of to squeeze in about two and a half hours. Uh, so if you want to come, MiltonBuyerClass.com, or you can click the link over there. And there is no cost to attend. We're going to even give you a book that you can take home with all the information. Yes. And uh, the, the only thing we ask is that you bring a food bank donation. There are a lot of people, even within Milton, that use the food bank regularly. And if you know about our team, you know that we're um constant supporters of the food bank so let's get started with today's list and uh, it should be fun now this one on mill street has been listed uh since april it's been a long time and i know at one point they had they switched the status to sold conditional meaning they had an offer for whatever reason that didn't work out and so they're back pretty much at the same price as they were when they got the offer 28 by 132 foot lots semi-detached I don't think it looks so bad. I mean, I haven't been to this one in person. It's a completely different experience seeing any of these homes in person. But really, if you look at even what you can buy in the new area, sure, that kitchen is turquoise, but it's got a lot of style. It's got a lot of flavor, this home. It's something a little bit different. Uh, that tile is actually very much in style right now. You've got beadboard, you've got nice wallpaper, mission style door, clawfoot tub. I don't know, to me, this is certainly looking pretty darn good. There's only one full bathroom, I believe, in the whole house. Maybe that's what's holding them back. They don't really have a kind of a, a modern basement. It's a crawl space, right? It's an older home. The structure is probably built before World War II. And uh, I don't know. Anyway, I think it looks good for the price. It's huge! <laughs> Barclay looks like a really good deal to me. I just sold an end unit Croftside, same model as this, maybe a little bit better looking inside, but we sold it at 460. This one's at 439. That's $20,000 difference. Yes, 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 yes. So I can go into this one and do a lot of work for $20,000. And uh, it looks like they've done some better than basic things. So the California shutters are not a, a, a cheap upgrade. Um, I don't know. I really like this one here. Uh, I think that if someone paid full price for this home, they'd be doing really well. I would even argue if they paid 450 for this, there are quite a few cases out there that would indicate even at 450 they're doing well. So 718 Irving Terrace, 529. This is a uh, Spring Ridge, 1800 square feet, four bedroom semi. And so this one has a really clever separate entrance. So you come in through the garage, just behind this door, there's this, a staircase to the basement. So essentially you have, <clears throat> excuse me, basement access through the garage, which is something we don't see every day. That's the thing that people use for a separate entrance. However, most of the semis in town, they need to have adequate parking. And that can be an issue with these homes. There's your basement. It says there's an apartment. I don't know if there's a kitchen or bathroom down there. It says there's a three-piece bathroom actually, but no separate entrance here. Um, but that's it. Two, uh, this way, you'd almost want to have the second one side by side if you're going to have a tenant in the house. So even though it's called an apartment, I would consider it to be more of an in-law suite where maybe you have family or friends that stay down there. Now here's our listing on McDougal, and you know how serious we take pictures on our team. I mean, we we really believe in the importance of pictures, and so you can see how much this one stands out from the rest. It's called a Winter Grove model, built by Madame, uh, just over 2,300 square feet. They ripped the whole Madame kitchen out, did a custom kitchen. It's huge! Awesome dimmers up here on the pot lights. You've also got them under cabinet. Uh, even inside the cabinets are some really nice rolling drawers, 
quartz countertops and uh, hardwood floors in the this is considered a living dining room and then you have this big great room above the garage with a fireplace you've got the bedrooms all around here there's four bedrooms and you can sit out here and watch the park and then directly over here that's where the sun sets the sun kind of comes down like this and the sky lights up and it is just awesome even on the weekends if your kids go play at the park here you can just sit on your your balcony and just watch the kids yeah, 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 yeah. really really nice home and uh it's an honor to be selling it we've had good activity so far a little patio off to the side and uh, fun fact, the owners actually got married outside on that patio. And, uh, and so there's a little bit of significance there. Uh, maybe it's time for you to have a wedding at this house as well. <laughs> now Schreier was listed in July for 669. This is a plan for 2051 square feet. So two months later, they're now at 689. That's $20,000 in two months. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you, but my RRSP is not doing that. It's uh, it's on a big pie-shaped lot. It's huge! I mean, a nice version of this home goes, you know, into the probably 630 to 650 range. And then you add the price of the, the land. Although the hard part with this is that they don't have a defined property in the sense that there's no fence there. So you got to really, really um help that process along help a buyer recognize where the land actually ends uh this playground in the back i'm not sure if that's part of the property but schreier by now should have the uh the the ability you know the town signing off on the grading and the ability to do a fence even though that would be an investment i think in this case it would probably help them out we've got a 15 acre property here on sixth line just north of 15th side road and uh, I think it's very arch architecturally interesting. Uh, I don't know how it would look in person, but I would say that the pictures give it a nice impression. Um, the further you are from, call it normal or, or, or usual, it can be trickier to find a buyer. And this is in a, a market where in the country, a well-priced home even takes three to six months to sell in some cases. So. I like it. It's pretty cool. It's different. And I think for 15 acres yeah, 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 yeah. and hard to tell the size of this home, I would guess just based on room measurements, we're looking at at least 2,000 to 2,500 square feet. 789 seems like a pretty good price. Now this one on Cochrane says it's a pie shaped lot. It doesn't look very pie shaped to me. 799 is the, uh, the price. Uh, it's very kind of orangey brown. And there's eight foot ceilings here. One of the biggest, best upgrades you can do on a home, anything over 2,400 square feet, do the nine foot ceilings, makes a huge, huge difference. It's huge! <laughs> makes the home feel bigger and the impression, everything improves dramatically. Um, they didn't exactly dress the bedrooms up very much. There's pretty much just box springs and a mattress. And, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you know make some effort in the bedrooms put some paintings up things like that um that being said 799 five bedrooms is hard to find under 800,000. i think they've got that going for them <laughs> next up is 1076 woodward 869 and so got a lot of pot lights in here i don't know if this was the home it could be the home that uh had uh, a fire and burnt down. It could, I know it's around here somewhere. Home looks good, custom builder. It's a numbered company that owns this place. And uh, I think they had it for sale earlier this year. And here's the thing is that it's the offers they say should be on builders forms. If you look in the broker's comments, numbered company, I don't know who built this home, but I would check. I mean, this is a very, very, important thing is that Tarion, T-A-R-I-O-N, is the company that protects new home buyers. So they're really all the builders, all the big builders are registered with Tarion. If there's a problem, if you've ever bought a new home, you've got a one, a two, and a seven-year warranty. 
you have a level of protection as a, a consumer that I think is important when we're talking about such a large investment. And so uh, the job of Terion is to administer and regulate builders through the Ontario New Home Warranties Plan Act. And so one of the very first questions I would ask if my client was interested in this home is, is the builder registered with Terion? Because if not, there's a tremendous amount of protection you have to build into an offer in case there's a problem down the road. If Terion's there, you've got a bit of a backstop that'll help you out. Now this is what I like to call showing off, which is a nice rainbow over the, uh, the Green Life building. It's huge! 419 is the price on this one. It is a, trying to remember the, the model, Papaya, which is just under a thousand square feet. Uh, at 419, there was a first floor one that just sold um, over at 33 Whitmer, the newer uh, Green Life building. And that, it was around the same size as this one and right around 400 is what it sold for so at 419 i think these guys are doing well this probably looks okay in person but i find some of the pictures look a little bit clutterish and that's the nature of photography is that you've got to get rid of the fans you've got to get rid of some of those details that uh, look fine when you see them but in a listing can can make a space feel really small and cluttered Either way, I like this home. You're either facing the train tracks in this building or you're facing Main Street. And this one faces Main Street. You've got the south views here. Obviously, you've got the rainbow that comes across. And uh, if I had to choose, this is probably the best location in the building or very close to it. Um, I really like it. The condo fees are 116 a month. Uh, for this size of unit in some of the other buildings, you're three, four, five hundred dollars a month and so there's significant savings yeah. geothermal heat solar panels and the building was really designed to be cutting edge for energy efficiency and what's called a net zero building where it takes in as much energy as it actually uses it's a great opportunity yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we're finishing strong on Cedar Bray. As soon as I hear Cedar Bray, there are parts of Cedar Bray that back onto either Steels or Thompson. This one is 890, which is right here, uh, really in a relatively safe spot on that street. And so you've got a raised bungalow with a double car garage. What the double garage does is it cuts down on your basement. You're going to have a smaller basement. The other thing is there's a direct access to the basement from the garage. And if you've got an older relative who's staying in the home with you, the nice thing is that they can get to their home, their uh, basement apartment or whatever you want to call it, without ever using stairs. And I think that's a huge benefit. <laughs> anyway, just for the double car garage and a home that's in decent shape in this area, without any kind of busy road or anything, uh, that it's backing onto. I think 519 is a really good price. And same thing here, they probably could have taken some things out uh, above here. And just to simplify, in the living dining room, there were some things that you could take out as well. Um, but yeah, we've seen single garages sell for a lot more than this. The double garage is a huge benefit. Yes, 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 yes. And that bathroom, having some work done to it, it's a bit of a bonus. So I like this one. That is the list. Thank you for watching. And remember, MiltonBuyerClass.com, this Saturday afternoon, it's going to be a good time. Thanks for watching. It's huge! <laughs>